If you've recently noticed some of your Google business reviews have vanished or are simply missing from your listing, you're not alone. In an attempt to combat review fraud, Google has tightened up its filtering process to reduce the number of fake Google reviews shady business owners use to boost their online profiles. This new phenomenon is highlighted in this article by Joy Hawkins, owner of the local SEO agency Sterling Sky, which I recommend you read. Since the filtering is done automatically through an algorithm, a lot of genuine reviews are caught in the net and are wrongly removed. This is a growing problem for many of you based on the number of published threads related to this topic in various local business forums. In today's video, I'm going to go through what you need to be aware of based on Joy's article so your customers' reviews don't fall into the review removal trap. If it's already too late and some of your reviews have already been removed or are simply not showing up, just watch till the end to find out what you can do to get them reinstated. The Google review filter is not new and has been in place for as long as I remember. It is designed to remove reviews that violate Google's prohibited and restricted content. You can find the entire list of prohibited content here and read it at your leisure. I'm not going to go through it today since these restrictions have been in place for a long time and nothing new has been added to them recently. But if you can't be bothered to read it, here is what you need to know in a nutshell. If any of your customers' reviews fall into one of these categories, it is likely to be removed, which shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. Generally speaking, this is a very rare occurrence and wouldn't be the main cause for your reviews to go missing or to disappear. What is new, however, is what Joy observed in a research. There seems to be different reasons outside of the prohibited and restricted content causing the increase in review filtering. Let's start with the first one. You offer free Wi-Fi to your guests. Running a coffee shop without offering Wi-Fi nowadays is almost like committing business suicide. It is expected by all customers. Free Wi-Fi is not exclusive to coffee shops and can now be found at your local hairdresser or dentist and many other places, which is great for customers. The problem is Google is able to see the unique IP address of your Wi-Fi network. For those of you who don't know, an IP address is the digital equivalent of a postal address and identifies your precise location. If you manage your Google business profile from the same Wi-Fi network your customers connect to, Google will see that connection. Reviews left by customers you connected to your network using the same IP address will very often not get published, even if they are no longer at your location. They will likely be deemed as spam. Unless you want to switch your free Wi-Fi off, there isn't much you can do here apart from trying to identify which reviews have been filtered out and attempt to get them reinstated, which I will cover in a couple of minutes. Let's move to the second reason. The reviews are written inside your store. Encouraging customers to leave a review using a review station at your business location, for example, may sound like a good idea. It's likely to make the process simpler and speed up the number of reviews you receive. Unfortunately, it isn't as good an idea as you think, and this is why. Just like in a Wi-Fi example, your review station will use a unique IP address. Reviews coming from the same device using the same IP address will be a red flag to the Google review filter and will not get published. The solution here is simple. Don't encourage customers to leave reviews from your location. If you have and you know the reviews have been filtered, try getting them reinstated. Reason number three, your reviewer is too far away from your business location. Whether customers submit reviews on a business listing from a desktop computer or using a smartphone, Google is able to track their exact location. If you have received a review from a customer who is nowhere near your business location or hasn't recently been close to it, it's likely the review will not be published. This makes total sense. How could a customer based in India review a plumber located in London, for example? There are cases, however, when the review will be genuine. If so, ask for reinstatement. Quick tip, if you ever receive a fake negative review on your listing from a random user you never dealt with, you might be able to use the customer's location as an argument to back up your claim for it to be removed. Go to your Google listing and bring up the fake negative review. If you have too many reviews and can't find it, use the filter option and click on lowest, which is where you'll find the fake review. Click on the user's profile and the review tab. This will show every review this user has posted, which can reveal some unusual patterns, like in this example, where reviews are geographically far apart and also only have a one-star rating, which could prove this user was never anywhere near your business. Let's move on to the fourth reason Joy mentions in her article. Using an education or school category on your Google business profile. 
If you are using an education or school category in your listing, apparently anyone trying to leave you a review will not be able to do so. Although the person attempting to publish a review on your listing will not get an error message, it will not show anywhere. Unfortunately, there is nothing you can do if you fall into this scenario. This rounds up the four main reasons why you may have recently noticed your missing reviews. The next question is, how can you reinstate genuine missing reviews which have been filtered by Google? Head over to the Google Business Profile forum, click on the Community tab and scroll down a little. Click on Ask Now and log in with a Google account. Fill in the form, making sure you include the following information. Add a title such as Customer Review Missing or Customer Review Disappeared. In the Explain the Problem You're Facing and What You've Tried box, add the following information. Your business name and your business address. The link to your Google listing. To do this, go to Google Maps and search for your business, then copy the link from the address bar and paste it in the form. Specify the number of reviews you believe are missing. If you can, add the date when they were submitted or at least the time frame. Whenever possible, add screenshots of missing reviews. Last but not least, add the name of the users who were trying to leave them. Select the Policies and Guideline option from the drop-down, then click on Next. Click on the Review Missing option, then click on Next Step. This will take you to Step 2. Ignore the suggestions and click on Next Step again. In Step 3, choose the Web option from the drop-down, then click on Next, then Post. Hopefully, someone will be able to help you reinstate your missing reviews based on the information you provided. Note. The people manning the help center are volunteers and don't work directly for Google. Although they are experts, there is no guarantee they will be able to reinstate your reviews. Please be nice to them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and until next time, happy marketing.